In this chapter, we will look at how to run a user story mapping workshop. Here are the four steps that you can use to run such a workshop. One, frame. Two, map the big picture. Three, add user stories. And four, map out releases. The first step is to frame our story map. We need to create a context for which we want to list the appropriate activities and tasks. The second step is to map the big picture. Now, we do this by asking each participant in the workshop to put a post-it note on the wall for things users do in relation to the frame we set. For example, we could ask the team to list all the things people do when booking a holiday. Then we remove any duplicates, we cluster these post-it notes into groups, and we name the group. This name is our activity, and the individual post-it notes are our tasks. Then we order our tasks and activities chronologically from left to right. In the third step, we take the user stories in our backlog and we map these underneath the relevant task. We then order these user stories vertically so that the highest priority user stories are on the top. Finally, we create swim lanes and we can add user stories to each swim lane, which gives us a release plan. That brings us to the end of this course. Thank you for taking this course. You've learned a lot about estimation, which is a really critical skill for all product managers. And you also have developed a deep understanding of estimation and planning in Scrum. Thank you for taking this course with me, and I look forward to seeing you again on other courses on Open Classrooms.